Hello, YouTubers, forum members, subscribers, everyone. Um, it is 4.30 in the morning, uh, and I cannot sleep, um, so I am making a video instead um, to do a short follow-up and kind of mini-review um, on the Icon Vape Canon um, atomizers. And, and by follow-up and mini-review, I mean that I have a new one um, that actually performs a little different than the ones I've had before. But if you saw my video on my other account, and I will put a link to that video in the description, I was a really big fan of these um, atomizers, which are essentially um, a mashup between, um, I've used that word a lot, but that's what they are, a mashup between 510 atomizers and 801s. Um, and I, I just kind of wanted to talk about how they held up so far. Um, Oh, excuse me. Um, I I got my first batch, I guess, two, two and a half weeks ago, and they've held up pretty well. Um, but the one, the biggest problem I have with them is they are impossible to de-wick. Um, my three and a half ohm atomizer, uh, I didn't put enough liquid in to prime it. It started tasting burnt right away, so I was going to try to de-wick it. And what it looks like um, is that the wick is actually, or the coil is actually wrapped around the wick. So it's in there, it's not going anywhere, and I, I may be wrong um, about that, but, um, you know, I, I tried to get it out, uh, and I wasn't finding a wick, you know, under the bridge, so then I ended up trying to debridge it, which I, I've done tons of times before on 510s and 306s. It didn't work so hot, and then once I debridged it, it looked like I had to, um, you know, if I pulled the wick out, it would have totally dislodged the coil. So they don't seem to be de-wickable, which, um, isn't a great thing, but at the same time, because the wick is around the coil, it should stay, um, it should stay wetter longer, or, you know, um, not be as kind of haphazard as, um, 510s and 306s, normal 510s and 306s. Um, so, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, the only other thing, Thing I can think of in terms of a downside to them holding up is they do get gunked up. They are hard to clean, um, you know, because the juice doesn't really uh, flow out of them so easily, which makes them not leak-proof, but they leak a lot less than um, other atomizers I've used. But, um, you know, when um, my standard Joy 510 atomizer gets a little gurgly, I'll take it out, I'll blow it into a, a paper towel, and... Um, start from there. So even when I clean the Canon atomizers, um, it, they don't always get cleaned all the way, no matter what I do. Um, but it, that's a minor thing, because you put in some new juice and it covers it up, but I just wish they came out of um, the cleaning process a little uh, fresher. Um, that said, um, I also recently posted a video that I, I bought a few 801 atomizers with adapters. I tried them, so I kind of know how they're um, how they function now a little better with the better airflow and and all of that. And um, I also picked up another Canon atomizer, which was the 1.8 ohm. And um, I do want to talk about this really briefly because it's a, you know it's the same line of atomizers. It's the same basic concept, but I don't know if um, they've changed slightly already in how they're making them. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't know if they've changed slightly uh, how they're making them already, or if it's just the ohm rating on this one. This um, is the best one I've used so far, the 1.8 ohm um, I can vape Canon 510. Um, let me show you how it performs. Um, I'm sorry the lighting is not so good. Again, it's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel like having my lights on. Um, and this is at 3.7 volts with Want to Vapes um, Creme Brulee. Um, and on this atomizer, um, I'm really feeling, again, now that I've tried some 801s, 
the other stealth, uh, well, I mean, I think, you know, stealth, the other cannon atomizers, um, the airflow is a lot more restricted, and this one seems to be kind of more in between the 801 and the 510, so it's definitely not as a restricted airflow as other 510s that I've used, and definitely not as free as the 801, but it's a really good balance. It works great at 3.7 volts, and now that I know to keep the atomizer really wet and to just drip in, you know, more and more and more when you prime it until until it really seems like you have enough. I mean, don't assume you have enough just because you put in, like, seven drops. It, it took, like, 11 or 12 and a few short puffs in between um, to really get this one going. Um, so now that I know that, I, I think maybe the other ones would have held up a little bit better because I think they got a little toasted um, just because of my own uh, slight mishandling of them. But otherwise, still, great atomizers. Um, I think the 1.8 ohm is, is my personal favorite. And again, maybe they're making them a little differently already um, since two, two and a half weeks ago. Um, but either way, this is a pretty outstanding atomizer, this specific one, and I do like the line. Um, so that's really it. I'm going to cut it off here because there's not a lot more to say. Um, flavor is great on this one. Throat hit is nice at 3.7 volts, y you know, um, all that. There's not a lot more to say about either of those, but, um, you know, other than the fact that the flavor is really clear and really good, and um, you saw the vapor, the vapor is great. So I'll put a link to Ike and Vape in the description. I will put a link to um, the other video if you have not seen it um, on my other account. I will put a link to my blog and my Twitter name. So you can go find me wherever you want to or, or not. Um, I will be back soon. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.